Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. The title of this video is 60 times a second, which refers to reflections within our room. And let's talk about that. Remember in our rooms, we always have this balance between direct and reflected energy, right? Here's our speakers. That's the direct straight line energy. And then we've got all these reflections coming from the room. So it's always a ratio between the reflections and the direct energy. And there's a balance there. There's three reflections that we really have to consider, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary is the reflection from the closest wall surface, so it would be this right channel side wall. Secondary would be that traveling across the room and becoming a secondary, and those can go up to 60 times a second. So you don't have to understand the physics behind all of this, but if the straight line energy from our speakers is what we want, but we got something crossing that 60 times a second, can't be good, right? Parts of it are audible, parts of it are not. Depends on what domain it in, it's in. But that's too complicated to get in for this. So it's always a balance between the direct and the reflected energy in our room. That's what we like. Now on two channel rigs, you can actually control the, the image with the sidewall distances. Expand it, make it tighter, make it in the middle. There's a lot of things you can do. And what you're doing is you're balancing the direct energy from the speakers with the sidewall distances by moving it this way, right? We don't do that now with treatment. We don't use distance so much. We use treatment. So what is the time signature of Reflections, we see them anywhere from 3 milliseconds to 20 milliseconds. Depends. It's a little bit subjective in two-channel rooms and theater rooms because everybody likes different reverb times. Everybody likes different sound qualities, okay? And part of that's reverb. So that's what you get here when you start ma uh, managing and the time signature of reflections. That's a reverb issue, too. So... We want to make sure that, you know, somewhere in that window is, is probably good for two channel, but we see them all the way across the board. Audible distortion, got to treat it. You can see in this graphic where we have primary, secondary, and tertiary reflections like we talked about in the room. You hear a lot about primary, but you don't hear about tertiary, the third one. You don't hear about secondary. Well, those reflections just don't stop. You know that technique about holding up the mirror to find the first reflection point in two-channel rig? Valid. But how about the secondary and the tertiary? Those are also audible. So, you know, it's kind of going halfway, half measures. There's other words for it, but I won't use it. But that's kind of, you know, how the science goes, or those that purport it anyway, some of them. So we got to get that managed correctly. We got to use the right rate and level of absorption when we do that. Not all rates and levels of absorption are the same. Material types vary. Building insulation is different than our foam technology. Compare the two, listen to both. You'll hear it immediately, okay? Diffusion, that's a great thing to manage reflections. Frequency response of the diffuser and the distances we have to work with. We should also put in here usage. Because vocal room diffusion is different than mixed room diffusion. Principles are the same. Minimizing reflections. One's at the, at the microphone position in a vocal room, and one's at the mix engineer position, right? So all kinds of ways, absorption and diffusion, but all kinds of reflections contributing and going 60 times a second. We don't want all that going on in our room, right? Let's save room for the music. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you.
Thank you.